Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, what we're gonna be doing is sort of a new series and a continuation of the mail day. If you guys watch that, um, basically what I wanted to go over is my binder progression series, which is basically, I started to collect basically every card that came out in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG from Legend of Blue Eyes all the way to Light of Destruction. And I basically wanted to kind of have a catalog of every card that was released. A part of this is actually the promo cards. And because of this, I decided I wanted to share with you guys uh, the progression of these binder collections and how I'm building them up slowly. And while at the same time, I can share with you guys some stories about how I located these cards and or um, if I paid anything significant on them. To start things off, uh, basically with my binder I received these new cards in the mail and I wanted to kind of add them to the binder and introduce you to this collection that I'm building right now here we have the promo collection basically it has it starts with every prismatic released these things right here I am missing obviously you might be asking why I did this um, if anybody builds any kind of binder collections you guys must know the pain of miscounting a certain card and having to you know pull out every single card right after and slotting them back in in the right order so I after many trials of trying to do it at the top of my head I realized that that's in vain and I might as well just do this and you know <laughs> uh, not 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 be so uh, eager to just use my memory now, uh, these ones I'm missing right here, these are all here. Um, everything here is pretty much pack fresh straight from the pack, all right? There's uh, like, everything should be at least PSA 9 condition, which is very important to me because these cards are not inherently rare. You know what I mean? They're not really that rare. You can find them if you're willing to uh, dig just a little bit. The problem is the rare in mint condition. So because of this, I was very selective and this is actually why I don't have uh, light play copies in here instead of just like leaving them blank because if I was to put light play copies in here I would basically be diluting the, the collection I wouldn't remember like hey this one has to be replaced this has to be replaced so I figured you know what let me go slowly with it don't bother with light play let's just go with either mint or nothing and I'll check them off slowly as I go through with this kind of pr progression series. I mean, these cards are getting so expensive that I need all the time I can get in the world. So <laughs> because of this, I just go slowly and one by one, I try to check them off unless I'm able to get the kind of deal on a certain set. So I actually got a set here of the GBIs. The problem was that these two were, um, I would say that they were near mint. They had like a white spot on them. To me, that's, uh, it, they can still get the PSA 9. The problem is I really detest whitening. I really don't like whitening. The only reason these can get 9s is because they're a little bit OC. So I'm okay like with that because as long as it doesn't have like play wear, that's what really bothers me. I don't really mind about OC too much. So here we have the first three DDS. Obviously, this is the most expensive, uh, most expensive set here. Um, because of this guy right here um, You know, what else could you say about DDS? <laughs> FMR I am missing. This is the second set. This is the PlayStation 1 Forbidden Memories. This has Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon, Metamorph and um, Harpy's Pet Dragon and then here we have Slifer and Obelisk and here's Raw obviously uh, Next I have Zoa, Metal Zoa and Goblin Fan this came from the Falsebound Kingdom. Here we have Eternal Duelist Soul, uh, Exchange, Graceful Dice, Skull Dice. And then here we have Stairway to the Destined Duel. Uh, next, uh, we have um, DDS, the second set, which is Sayaryu, Acid Trap, Hole, Salamandra. And then here we have Dawn of Destiny, which is Wing Dragon of Ra, Dark Sage, and Widespread Ruins. Next, we have a PCK. So as you can see, these are all the promos that are in the video games, AKA they're all prismatic rares, um, or at least 
up to 2003 or 2004. Here we have Power of, uh, Power of Chaos, Kaiba. Here we have Power of Chaos, Yugi. I had a basically... So basically this thing comes in two versions. There's the PC version, which looks like just a, a cube, a rectangle, which comes with these three. And that's what I had. I had the packet that had these three inside. There's actually another variant, which comes in the triangle shaped packaging. And that one actually has five cards inside and it has Karibo and Dark Magician, or actually Dark Magician and Karibo. Here I slotted in the YMA, which is the any manga. Uh, the any manga slide for the sky dragon Here we have um, TSC what is this? I forgot the code but it, the sacred cards the sacred cards These are the most common ones out of everything here These are probably the most easiest to acquire in mint condition Here I have PCJ. I picked up these two raw. I actually didn't I have if you guys saw the mail that you can check that out um on my channel i have a mail there where i picked up like the the full set sealed but i don't want to open that because the sealed premium is not really worth opening just for one card you know if i needed all three maybe i would open it but since i'm only missing this one i might as well just pay a little bit like i mean how many can it be like a hundred dollars if i open the sealed pack the sealed pack is at least two three hundred by itself and these cards are worthless so i might as well just buy this card and mint uh, and try to pay that extra premium here we have dark magician knight this is one of the few releases of this card and this is the first release of this so in any dark magician collector or like yugi cards collectors they need this card here we have knight's title and then sage of stone which goes along with uh, dark sage i believe and then here we have DOR 1, 2, and 3. These cards are actually very common back in the day, like in 2019, 2020, they were very, very common. Now they barely pop up in mint condition. Most of them are graded already. So, um, I mean, if I have to, I might just like buy a nine and bust it and put it in here. Uh, this is the Magnet Warriors, if you don't know. But yeah, it's uh, DOR, that's Duelist of the Roses. So that's pretty cool there. Here we have TF. Uh, TFKEN. So this was the European release. I actually picked up two of the cards in here and they were worthy of my standard, if that makes sense, or my expectations. And we're just going to swap them out right here and fill out a little bit of the OCD <laughs> to have this completed. I'm missing number three. Um, the guy said he had this as well. He just couldn't find it so you know I, i'm gonna wait until i um i'm able to locate one and because this thing is very hard to find in like even sealed it's very hard to find this so i just have to wait until i'm able to locate one the lucky thing for me is that with these uh with these cards is that they came out of the video game so because of this the card quality is japanese stock and it's excellent it's truly excellent so it shouldn't be too hard to find these, um, especially since I've checked off, like, I mean, other than these guys right here, these will be, these will cost me an arm and a leg, but everything else I should be, it should not cost more than like, you know, 50 bucks uh, to to get like the, like, I mean, this one is maybe like $50, uh, $50 Dark Magician. Karibo is like maybe 20 bucks. I would assume this one's very expensive. This one's maybe like a hundred bucks, but it's not like, you know, with these ones, it's like, you know, you're talking three, four hundred, five hundred dollars for a mint coffee. So <laughs> those ones are, are an adventure for sure. Now, here we have, um, well, first of all, this is the World Championship 2004. This is the first World Championship and this is the only one in Prismatic Rare. OK, uh, this was the by the way, this was the EN of the Falsebound Kingdom, which was released in Europe. And this is basically instead of having Metal Zoa. If you, as you saw here, this is TFK, the North American. They replaced them with these cards right here. So here's the World Championship 2004, 2005, and now I'm missing 2006 and 2007, 2008. There is a 2009, 10, and 11, but those are 5Ds. I don't know if I want to go into 5Ds yet with the promos because 
you know, it kind of gets out of hand <laughs> to a point it'll get really, really tough. So I'm still thinking about it. Maybe I'll go into the into the 5Ds promos, but it's very unlikely because I have so many collection goals for my binders that, you know, it's it's tough. <laughs> it's tough to kind of make that commitment. So moving on. Here we have the extra games. This was the DBT. This was, I believe, the double pack, maybe? Or double pack. It might be the double pack. I don't, yeah, it, it is the double pack. I'm pretty sure. This one is CMC. This came in the PlayStation um, Capsule Monsters. And then here we have DODEN, which was the European Dawn of Destiny, which instead of Wing Dragon of Raw, they put Mesmeric Control. No idea why, but you know, they do what they do. <laughs> And then here we have GX. This was the, the, these were the first releases of the GX. This is the Dual Academy. I believe this, I don't quite remember what this game was called, but they're all coded GX1, GX2, GX3. This is where I actually picked up these guys and we're gonna be swapping them out right now to basically fill up the binder. And you guys can enjoy the gratitude with me of you know plugging in this page and then seeing everything complete which is super super nice and really really appealing in my opinion next we have gx4 5 and 6 um still have to get those here we have um uh nightmare trivia doom or something like that tribe of doom i don't know but anyway, this the, these right here are completed. These are really cool because this was a Nintendo DS game, but it had Silent Magicians, and which, which is a Yugi card, which is really awesome in my opinion. I, I just really like this set. Here we have YDB 1 and 2 and 3. This is probably the one that most people don't know about, and I'm going to be making a video on this in the next month or so because I am I actually was able to find these cards, and I'm very, very happy to do so. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna go over these and make an in-depth video on this set because it's extremely rare. And then here we have the last but not least is the GBI Ultra Rare set. This is the, you know, bastard child of the GBI sets and, you know, it <laughs> it goes in the last page. It, I might shift it, but I like the way that everything fits right now. I mean, if I was to shift something, maybe I would push this down and put the GBI Ultras here. I guess but and then everything else would get pushed but I like the way that everything looks right now so I, I'm just I, I don't know where I would put the GBI by the way if I'm missing anything you know like if you see here that you know you have it in your collection I mean that would be fantastic if you can like message me and be like hey I have this in mint I'm willing to sell it to you that would be awesome I would love to check it out and I'll give you a shout out over here um, and uh, obviously like after I buy it from you um, and if you think that I'm missing any video game promos, definitely let me know because I believe I checked all them off, but you know, you never know with Yu-Gi-Oh! They, they did, uh, <laughs> they did these random releases. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm definitely missing. I might be missing something. I'm not sure. Next we have the booster pack, uh, promo. So this was my video games. Now it's the tins or the special releases so here we have bpt one two three four five six and then here we have uh the seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so this i'm missing basically dark magician summon skull blue eyes white dragon uh red eyes and black skull here i'm missing dark magician the alternate art and then here i'm missing uh jinzo here we have ct1 this is, these were all pulled straight from the tins uh, a while ago, back when the tins were like $25, $50. <laughs> um, yeah, basically I have them. Uh, this is the secret rare variants. And down here we have the super rare variants. So I am missing CT1 and CT6 in the super rare misprint. Uh, here we have CT2. I am missing this one, which is, I believe, Vorse Raider. This one that I'm missing is um, Total Defense Shogun, and the last one is Obnoxious Celtic Guard. All right. Uh, here we have CT3. 
uh, CT2, CT3. Here I'm missing Shining Flare. And then this one is the lowered name misprint. If you have a regular one and you want to swap, I'm definitely keen for that. I don't like misprints that much. I don't like this type of misprint. So if you have like a minty one, I would definitely be down to swap with you for a lowered name. Uh, it's really cool, but not for me. Next, we have CT4. Um, this is the, here we have the, what is it called? Plasma Vice. And then this is the first set. I don't remember what who, what's in here, but let me try to remember. Oh, it's a Sapphire Pegasus, something, something. I don't remember. <laughs> here we have Duel Masters Guard Dark Paladin. And then the two jump secret rares. By the way, if you haven't noticed, these are all the secret, uh, secret rares, like unless there's like that misprint right here, it's pretty much all secret rares. So this is the promos, this is the promos of the secret rares and I'm gonna get into more after. This is Master Collection 1, I opened this myself. And then FL1, uh, Forbidden Legacy. This is like that, that set that has LOB, MRD, MRL, and a silver pack, which comes with one of these three inside. And the and those packs actually have EN cards inside. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Next, we have Master Collection 2. I also... No, I actually... I didn't actually pull these myself. I got these from Yu-Gi-Oh! Prodigy. Shout out to you on YouTube and on IG. He actually sold me this set after he opened it himself. Here we have DPK, which is the secret rare promos that came in the Duelist pack. Uh, Jaden and Duelist pack Zane, uh, no, Chaz maybe. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> and then here we have Elemental Hero Collection 1. So you guys saw me pick this, uh, you saw me pick this up in the last mail day. Here we have GSE 1, which is like the, the Wild Heart. That is secret name, secret print name, but the... The hollow is a super rare. I'm not sure if that was a misprint or something like that, but um, yeah. Man, this stupid fly. Here we have UBP one to five. Very hard to find set. Uh, I'm not ready to pay the big bucks for this. I tried, but you know, people want just too much money for it. So I, uh, I'm still holding out to see if I can find the one for a good deal. Here we have Dark Legends Gores. This, this Gores came in the, the double packs. You know, when there's like two packs, Dark Legends. Uh, very special release. It was only released in the blisters. This is the card that comes in there. I have a couple of these, but they're just hard to find in mint condition. Um, here we have Starter Deck Deluxe 1 and 2. This is the Secret Rare Armed Dragon, as well as the Secret Rare Rope of Life. Here we have Retro Pack 2 uh, Baboon, uh, like the green baboon. And then here we have the Retro Pack 2 Gores, which came out of the... I think one of them comes out of the box, and then the other one comes in the blister. So, I don't remember which one's which, but they come... Those are the promos that come in there. Here is the Elemental Energy Special Edition promos, okay? And then here's the SOI special edition promos. These are not expensive. It's just hard to find them in mint condition because most of them is like, like most of these cards are pretty much like trash, like, like in terms of playability or usability or anything like that. But you know, <laughs> there's, I, I'm just trying to find them in mint condition because you know, like the thing is with collecting these cards is as prices start to go up and it becomes like impossible to collect and you're a, like a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, um, you want to try and collect something, right? And I think in my opinion, this is kind of a conservative budget friendly way to collect because these cards are not very expensive. Like honestly, I mean, there's some that kind of stand out. I guess this is like maybe 25, but most of them you can get for like under 10 bucks. The problem is, is that you have to find a mint because you want to kind of create a little bit of collectability. You want to make a little bit of a challenge for yourself. So that's where the hard part comes in. And then as you check them off slowly, I mean, what is it? If this is mint, the guy pulled it out of the pack, what am I going to pay like 10 bucks? That's not going to cost anything. Right? It's not, it's not that much, right? So it's, it's a easy way to collect 
without having you know to you know spend an arm and a leg here we have the Yu-Gi-Oh GX 1 to 9 so Yu-Gi-Oh GX the manga it comes with um, cards inside uh, every single volume it's from volume 1 to 9 every single volume comes with a card inside this one is very hard to get this is the light and darkness dragon this is the thunder king ryo these are the only ones that are actually secret rares and the rest are either ultra or super rare uh, these are like the only tough ones to find they're not f hard to find it's just hard to find in mint and uh, I, I actually secured a, a few of these in sealed. So we're going to open them on the channel, maybe, if, if, if you guys are interested in that, to see just, like, how they came packaged and stuff like that. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! R. Uh, the reason I put this one in here is because um, it's a secret rare, and it came out in the time of... It's, it's technically past 5Ds, Okay, but it is not a 5Ds card. So, and it's a secret rare, so I just, you know, slapped it in here. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's not that important. I needed something to fill here. And then here we have the jumps, okay? this These are the jump promos. Here's the red eyes. This is the obelisk, uh, prismatic, uh, Archfiend of Guilford. This one's getting quite tough to find in mint. And then this is jump five. What is this one? Um... Oh, this is the secret rare. Um, this is this one right here. Okay, this is supposed to go here. But however, because these are all ultras, I'm gonna put the ultra rare special edition one. I have a sealed one, I just don't wanna open it. You guys saw me get it in the mail day. Um, I don't wanna open it, so I'm gonna try and find uh, like a, or at least a second sealed copy so that I can open one and put it in here. And then these are quite tough to find. I believe this is the toughest one because this one came out of the magazine. These two you can get from the manga. They're still tough. I have a lot of the manga for sale on my uh, eBay store. Uh, these are like, they go for like 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks. And then this one comes out of the volume 16. This one comes out of the volume four. So, and this one's strictly from the, the magazine. Here we have Toon Dark Magician Girl and Magician's Valkyria. This is, I really like these two cards and they're from the show. It was a must have, I had to put them in here. Uh, I stopped here, This uh, here comes Victory Dragon, uh, but I have that right here. So I'm not, I'm not sure if, I mean, if I can locate another secret rare to put in this slot, I'll take this one and I'll put it in here and then I haven't decided if I want to go through with the rest of the Shonen Jumps because here would go Stratos, Ocean, and now a bunch of the Wicked Avatars and stuff like that. I don't know anything about the Wicked Avatars. The last one I would like think about collecting is Stratos, maybe Copycat, but otherwise I'm not, I'm not too keen on collecting the rest of the jump sets. Here we have the Sneak Peeks. Uh, but these actually came in the magazines as well. So we have Cyber Harpy, Amazonus, and Embodiment of Apophis. Uh, Exchange of the Spirit. This one is actually damaged. Well, not damaged. It's like near mint. But I don't have a second copy. And I remember this one because... So this is why I just slept it in here. If anybody has a replacement, I would love to buy or trade from you. And then here we have the two SPs. This one came in the sneak preview i know this one's enemy of justice and this is a dark magician girl this one goes a uh, two in dark magician girl this one goes for a good amount of money but um i don't know where this one comes out of maybe shadow of infinity i don't remember and then here we have the yap so i have these in sealed i have a sealed packs sealed packs of these but i don't want to open one because the the EV inside is not as, uh, it's not that good. So, uh, actually, the EV is actually one of the best. But the reason I don't want to open it is because I, I like to chase. I, li I like to chase these cards. So, I go one by one. I got this one for, in my opinion, a steal. I got it for like $35. So, this is the main reason I haven't opened this. I mean, if I didn't get this, I would probably open the pack and just slot them in. But... Because I was able to pick this up, now I'm kind of like, 
you know, <laughs> I have to wait until to, to try at least to get these in, you know, already open form. And then here we have the Lost Art Dark Magician Girl. Um, I have a sealed one, but I don't want to open it. So I might just pick one up off eBay. And then here we have the Jump, uh, Raw, Slifer, and Obelisk. These are the alternate arts that were actually designed by Kazuki Takahashi. Um, if you don't know, any card that is designed by him actually has no border. So you see how like the card is kind of elevated here? Like if we compare it to this, you see how like there's a border here? Well, this one, it doesn't have that. So every card that is actually drawn by him for these cards, uh, they all have this feature. So. You'll see that with Lost Art 30, uh, I think Lost Art 19, not 35. Lost Art 19, I have to change this. Uh, it has the same thing. And then these, these guys also have that. And then here we have the blue eyes as well. You can see that it also doesn't have the border. I just think that's a really cool feature. You know what I mean? Like they just changed it up and dedicated it to him. It shows that they're paying attention to detail. And then here's the Jump Dark Magician. This came out in 2011 and it basically completes a set. I don't know if he did any others. I know he did like a couple for like some tens later on, but I'm not really keen on those. I have this one. This is a jump because um, the reason I have this one is because this is like the only Ori Calcos card that there is other than the one that came out in New Geese World. So. I just think this is a really cool card. I, I really like the design of it. I mean, just look at this thing, man. Just super, super badass. It comes from right from the show. Um, I don't know, I really like it, so I just slotted it in here. Here's the set cell for Duelist Kingdom, Duelist Kingdom, and Glory of the King's Hand. I think these are really nice cards. I might be, I might try to get the original ones, but very unlikely i don't know and then here we have five headed dragon which comes out of the dark revelation uh, blister this comes out of the dark revelation 4 light and darkness dragon and then this one is duelist pack collector tins which comes uh, with card ejector as an ultra rare so those are the only promos that i could find um if you know of any others definitely comment them down below and let me know i i'm just trying to find anything else that i can slot in here uh, nothing past 5ds it has to be like a gx at least gx themed card okay and um yeah that's basically all i have for you guys today hopefully you guys enjoyed that that's my promo collection I am building my other sets. If you guys like this type of uh, content, let me know. And, uh, you know, if, if I see that there's good feedback for this, then I'll start doing stuff for like my the original Yu-Gi-Oh binders because I'm still building those. Those are pretty much done and I'll showcase them soon. But this one I'm still building as well as a lot of the GX ones. So if you like that, I'll definitely share those with you guys and hopefully you know uh you guys learn something or i inspire you to to start collecting yourself because i know a lot of people think the game is kind of really overpriced now and i agree uh it's it's out of most people's budget but you know seeking mint cards i i just think there's a there's a real delight to it <laughs> you know being able to take out the card and like you know take a look at it to me that's like everything you know what i mean just being able to hold the cards being able to you know feel feel the cards and like you know maybe even duel with them i think that's so important to me and that's why i'm i'm like for my collection aspect i really gravitate towards binders so yeah that's basically all i have for you guys today hopefully you guys enjoyed that peace